Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at using conditional formatting with multiple columns. So typically conditional formatting is applied to a cell or to a column of values and you both test and format that column or cell. But what if you want to refer to the values in different cells or taking it further multiple cells or columns now in this video we are going to see three different examples of testing multiple columns using the data set on screen at the moment and for the first demonstration what i would like to do is format the row of values, columns B to E, but only if every single quarter has a value that is 100 or more. So let me start by selecting the range of cells I will be looking at formatting, and then we'll pop into our conditional formatting button and new rule. If you're going to refer to a value in a different cell, then you need to come into new rule and you need to select to use a formula. Now it doesn't always have to be a difficult formula, but you'll need to use that to be able to reference that other cell. Now for us and the example I've mentioned, we need the AND function because I want to test if the value in every single column, quarter one, two, three, and four, or columns B, C, D, and E, are 100 or more. So I'm going to type this into the box provided. Now when you type it in here, you don't get any assistance putting the formula together. Now I'm just going to write this in on screen, but it's quite useful to write the formula into a cell first, and then you can copy and paste it into this box later, where you get a bit more assistance putting it together. For now, I'm going to put $B2. I'm referencing the first value which is in row two and it's in column B. I'm putting a dollar sign before the B to fix it onto that column, but leaving the row uh, relative. And I want to know if that value is greater than or equals 100. And then I'll simply put in a comma and I go again, dollar C2 greater or equals 100. And then I go again, comma, uh, don't forget my dollar sign, D2 greater than or equals 100. One more time, comma, dollar e2 greater or equals 100 and i close off the bracket all four of those conditions must be true and function i'll click on the format button and apply a orange maybe and if i click ok to each of these windows that will be applied if i just zoom out of here i have formatted the two rows where every single value from all four columns have a value of 100 or more. Now in this next example, I wish to format the row of values if one of those values, at least one, is greater than or equal a specific threshold value. So in cell G3, I've written the value of 190. That is originally what I'm after. Have any of these rows got at least one value of 190 or more? But by referencing this cell, we'll be able to change that to a different value on the fly. So let's see this in action. Once again, I'll select the cells that I wish to format. I've still got the previous rule in this range. Conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula. And let me zoom in on the formula area. Now this is very similar to before. This time it's going to be an OR function though, because I want to know if either of these are true. So I'm going to test cell B2, $B2, to know if it is greater than or equal to G3. That needs to be an absolute reference. If I click the cell, it will default to be an absolute. But I could have written that in. Comma, off we go again. Dollar C2 greater or equals G3, comma, dollar D2 greater or equals G3, comma, 
dollar e2 greater than or equals g3 all absolute references for g3 close off the or function and i'll choose a different color a nice green for this rule so if i okay my way out and zoom out so we can see our data the one row that has a value of 190 or more is the row for terry here and that has changed now if one of these other rows was to suddenly get a value of 190 or more let's look at joseph here the first one currently all of them are above 100 so it's this orange color if one of them went above 190 it changes to green as the other rule takes effect now maybe the rule for the green the 190 or more is not as important as the orange one i want that one to take precedence and at the moment it's not they're all greater than or equals 100 but because one of them is 190 or more that takes priority if i come into conditional formatting and manage rules within here we can change this i can use these arrows at the top to change the order so that the one that's higher has precedence and if i click ok to this then that now takes control so now it is orange even though one of them is 190 or more and that is something we need to take into account and consider if you're running multiple rules on the same uh, range of cells now because we reference cell g3 i can also change that to maybe 180 and that will then take effect none of these have got over 180 this one does but the orange one is the most important now if i was to drop it to 160 then we see these two kick in with the green so by referencing the cell we have that interactive dynamic nature where people can change the threshold value and the format on a spreadsheet will adapt itself now for the final example of this video i want to use an example where they have to get 100 or more but at least in two of the quarters so i've removed the previous rules we're back to having no conditional formatting and i would wish to put a rule in that they have to get at least twice 100 or more now for this i'm going to use the count if function i want to count how many times that occurs and then check whether it's more than two now this time as well i'm going to write the formula in a cell first just to demonstrate we get more assistance writing it than we do when we're in the rule so if i get going with that straight away it doesn't really matter what cell i'm in because ultimately it's not going to stay here i'll write my count if function and it tests if the range of cells now i could select the range but it's probably not much difference to just type them in because i will need dollar b two colon dollar e2 so similar to the previous examples we need to fix the column but not the row and this time we have a range because i'm in count if here a comma will bring me on to the criteria now if i write the criteria into the cell then we have to wrap it in these double quotes and i want to know if it's greater than or equals 100 close the quotes close the bracket once you've done that count how many in that row are 100 or more is the answer to that greater than two did they achieve it more than twice that's what i'm going for now i'm going to select that formula take a copy of it press escape to pull out of that cell and then i can go and apply my conditional formatting rule like previously here we go on this and then i'll just use Control v to paste my formula into the box provided and set my formatting let's have a blue this time slightly darker blue click ok to each one and if we zoom out we have the two that have got a hundred or more but in this one has achieved it three times not quite all the time like the first example but that now meets her criteria as long as you've done it more than twice terry only achieved it twice 
as did Sharon, had to more than twice, then the formatting takes effect. So that was our final example of looking at how we can test uh, values from multiple columns, multiple cells. We saw the AND function, the OR function, and then a demo with COUNT IF to get a feel for how we should write these references and, and how we should achieve those objectives. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.